John Brown was a hero for black people. Hayward Shepard was a traitor. The black man that many people in the comment section are coming at my head over is Hayward Shepard. During the first hour of an upload, I see every comment and I respond. Whenever I release a video, I respond at least to most of the comments within the first hour. For some reason, something told me to go back under my old John Brown video and look at the comments. And as I scroll through the comments, no lie, there's probably a hundred comments or more of people attacking me over Hayward Shepard. Do y'all even know who Hayward Shepard is? Many people are saying, come on, bruh, you praising this white man, he killed the hero. What about the innocent black man he killed? What about that black man that he murdered? Do y'all know why John Brown killed him? Apparently not. Like I always say, this is why it's important to know our history. America told you that Hayward Shepard was a hero. <laughs> That's comical. So I've been getting a lot of views lately over my first John Brown video. If you have not seen it, go back and check it out. This new wave of views probably coming because of the new series that's coming out. So people are saying he killed this innocent black man for no reason, huh? For no reason? He should have killed that Sambo. He was a Sambo. Let me tell you something. All black ain't good black. Denmark VC had 9,000 slaves armed and ready, ready to kill anything in their way. Anything in their path was getting destroyed. And guess who gave them up? Black folks. All black and good black. That rebellion would have probably ended slavery, but black folks gave them up. During the Reconstruction period, many black men sold their wives and even their daughters to white men as far as having sex with them. So these brothers was pimping their daughters and their wives. The reason they did that, because during this time, black folks barely even had enough money to eat all black and good black. William O'Neill was the informer who infiltrated the Chicago chapter of the Black Panthers. William O'Neill was instructed to cause friction inside of the organization. William O'Neill gave a full layout of Fred Hampton's apartment to the Chicago PD and the FBI. On December 3rd, 1969, William slipped a strong substance into Fred Hampton's drink. He slipped a sleeping drug into his drink. Later that night, around 4.45 a.m., officers stormed through Hampton's apartment and opened fire on everyone. They killed Fred Hampton in his sleep. See, Fred was drugged so he couldn't defend himself. The legend was killed while he laid in bed next to his eight month pregnant fiance, but she survived. All black ain't good black. Now to this innocent black man of a hero that y'all referring to, Hayward Shepard. See, a lot of y'all didn't even know his name. So that means you're just regurgitating something that you heard. Due to history, Haywood Shepard was no hero. Haywood Shepard was a black railroad porter 
who recognized John Brown Raiden and they came into town. Now, rather than joining them and assisting into the liberation, he tried to warn the people and that's what got him killed. He was the first person to be killed by the crew on October 16th, 1859. John Brown and his people came into Harper's Ferry to free the slaves and to arm him. Hayward Shepard was sitting on a porch and he saw John Brown coming. He hops off the porch to go alert the people and that's what got him killed. But he's a hero though, right? A hero. See, history told y'all that John Brown was some crazy white man just killing people. And history told you that this black man was a hero. These people who they call heroes study the history behind the reason why. And you black folks who are in the comments, if you are aware of Hayward Shepard and you do know why he was killed, you are the type of Sambos who I don't even want subscribed to my channel. Why are you even over here? After hanging John Brown, the town erected a 900 pound monument honoring Hayward Shepard. Hayward Shepard's monument reads, an industrious, respected colored freeman was mortally wounded by John Brown's raiders in pursuit of his duties as an employee of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Company. He was the first victim of this attempted insurrection. This boulder is erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy and the Sons of the Confederate Veterans as a memorial to Hayward Shepard, exemplifying the character and faithfulness, faithfulness of thousands of Negroes who under many temptations throughout subsequent years of wars so conducted themselves that no stain was left upon record which is the peculiar heritage of the American people and everlasting tribute to the best in both races this is your hero this is your hero nah this is my hero. R.I.P. John Brown. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comment section. John Brown was a...